of friends, I, people not paying me no attention. This is the time when you get in the Word. It ain't about you, it ain't about me, it ain't about nobody. It's about God and what He wants us to do with His body, which is serve Him. Go ahead, bro. Go to five. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. See, that's it. Your faith can't stand in the wisdom of men. What's the wisdom of men? Oh, I got a 401k plan. Yeah, I'm be good when I'm retired. <laughs> oh, I'm paying my house off. I mean, I'm gonna be good. Anything can hit you. You think about the wisdom of men, how they tell you the American dream to retire 55, you got your house paid for, 401k plan, you can go live the life. Go down to Miami and just chill. What if something happened to your body? What if something happened to your kid? What if something happened to your wife or your husband? He died. What, what you gonna do then? If that, that's your the way of life, how you say what you say is happiness, that is short lived. Mm, short lived. We got to stop letting these people lead us of the wisdom of the world and most of all leading ourselves. Jump down to verse 12. Go ahead. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, mm -hmm. but the spirit which is of God. Yes, sir. That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. This is what we receive. The free things of God, which is his word. Not the spirit of the world. This ain't talking about a spirit just roaming around like a ghost. It's talking about the words. The three spirits. God is the spirit. The word is the spirit. And his angels of spirit. The words that we speak, John chapter 6 and 69, 63. The words that I speak, they are spirit, they are life. This is what he's talking about. The spirit of the world. The words of the world. We ain't receiving that. That's right. We receiving the word of God so we can build power in him. Go ahead. 13. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. But which the Holy Ghost teaches yes, sir. comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Y'all hear what he said? But not in the natural, he said, not in the natural man receiving not the things of the Spirit of God. Read that. He said, what we at? 14? 13. 13. He said, when things are also speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teaches. Come on. This is what it is. Man wisdom taught us what's good. They taught us the retirement age. They taught us, okay, you should be having this kind of money. They taught us you should have this kind of wife, this kind of husband, this kind of money. It ain't about that. That ain't man's wisdom. I mean, that ain't God's wisdom, excuse me. We're dealing with spiritual things. Come on. He said, but which the Holy Ghost teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual things. Mm -hmm. When I'm vibing, when somebody say something about the thousand years that Jesus is on the throne, Oh, my spirit, my ears are open to him. I'm like, he knows something. She knows something. I can hear these two. But most people can't hear that when you're saying Jesus is not going to be in heaven with God on this throne ruling up there. We're not going to have a rapture up there. We're going to be upon this earth. They can't hear that. That spiritual thing. Come here, Troy. Sit right here. This is what it is. Go ahead. Verse 14. But the natural man receive, receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. For they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. This is what they're foolish. They're foolish unto him. Just like they were foolish to Noah. Noah's, uh, Noah's friends. He said they're going to rain. Y'all need to be prepared to give me this ark. Mm -hmm. Y'all know how long it took Noah to build the ark? A hundred years. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine those? Like people saying this today. When y'all told me God gonna come back, my grandma said God gonna come back. Even my great grandma said that he ain't back yet. I can't believe in him. This is what people do. That's spiritual things. I got faith in God that it's gonna happen. Whether I die or not, I'm waiting. Go ahead. But he that is spiritual judges all things. Mm -hmm. Yet he himself is judged of no man. See what he said? You can judge. Yeah, you can judge. They tell you you can't judge. No. I let the word judge you. God said that. He said, he said, if you eat this swine, I'm going to kill you. He said 
said. I didn't say it. I'm judging you by the way he said judge you. Go ahead. For who has known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? Mm -hmm. But we have the mind of Christ. This is what we got to have. The mind of Christ. Not our own mind. We got to put that off. Because we're going to jack ourselves up. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you. Let's go to Revelation chapter 12, verse 7. I'm going to let y'all see where all this wisdom of the world comes from. A man can come up with himself. This is where it all comes from. Revelation chapter 12. Verse 7. It's real vital that we get into this word every day, especially on the Sabbath day. Because Satan looking, boy. He looking to see if anybody don't have a heaven of salvation on. Meaning that your mind, protecting your mind from his evil devices. Let's see where all this deception come from. Verse 7, go ahead. And there was war in heaven. Mm -hmm. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. So it was war in heaven. Big fight. Satan would deceive a third of the angels from God out of heaven. And Michael went down there and took him out. See, that's what people don't understand how powerful Satan is. These angels up there with God, they've been seeing God every day. And they know God, he's the powerful one. Satan had to see the third of them. What do you think me you can do to him right now? How can we protect ourselves without getting into this word? And these cats was like, perfect. These angels were perfect. Go ahead. And prevail not, neither was their place found anymore in heaven. Yes, sir. That's when Michael and his angels, Michael kicked them all out. Go ahead. And the great dragon was cast out, mm -hmm. that old serpent called the devil. Yes, sir. And Satan. These are all his names. The great serpent, the dragon, the devil, and Satan. Satan. Go ahead. What he did? Which deceives the whole world. How much of the world? The whole world. The whole world. 100% he has deceived. This is the system of the world. How it's side of God ain't never designed for this system to be side of like this. Stop thinking that God ain't got nothing to do with this system. It's Satan's system. He deceived the whole world. Go ahead. And was cast out into the earth. Mm -hmm. And his angels were cast out with him. Then when Michael kicked him out, but he came to the earth, man. And he messed us up. Read verse 12. Let's see verse 12. Man. It ain't even less than one. Read verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens. And he that dwell in them. Uh -huh. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he has but a short time. You know what he got? You know what he said? He said, Woe unto the inhabitants. Woe unto us. Warn unto us. We didn't kick that joke out of, out of heaven. We ain't got to worry about him no more. But now we got to worry about it. Because he coming with great power. Great power. Let me show you some of his power. Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 28. Ezekiel chapter 28 and verse 1. Let's see what power the Satan possess. Let's see if it line up with like your preachers say in these Sunday, Sunday churches. Satan can transform himself in anything. He's a mighty chair of angels. We know what angels look like. He got four heads, wings all over, hands on the wings, cast feet. Got a head of a man, too, now. Ezekiel chapter 28. We're going to start with verse 1. Let me show you the power of it. We're going to talk about this king, Tyrus. King Tyrus. But he ain't no ordinary king. Go ahead. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Son of man, say unto the prince of Titus, mm -hmm. Thus says the Lord God, Because thine heart is lifted up, 
And thou hast said, I am a God. I sit in the seat of God, in the midst of the seas. Yet thou art man, and not God. Though thou set thy, thine heart as the heart of God. Who said they're going to sit on the congregation of God? Satan. Isaiah chapter 14. He said he's going to sit on it. Well, he told me he's going to bring him down. Go ahead. Behold, this, this is what this is giving his characteristics of what he's all about. Go ahead. Behold, thou art wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that they can hide from thee. Do you understand that? You can't hide no secret from him. And he more wiser than Daniel. That's pretty wise. That's pretty knowledgeable. So you sit up here thinking that you are hiding this for Satan. He's going to take what you have in your mind and he's going to use it against you. Go ahead. With thy wisdom and with thine understanding, thou hast got the riches. Got what? Riches. Riches. Go ahead. And has got gold and silver into thy treasures. See, I told you this Satan, he possessed the riches of the world. And he confusing all the people in the world because they are attracted to a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Money make them money money make them holler. Y'all heard what Hunter Boo said? But that dollar make me holler. <laughs> Way back in the day. But the thing is, that's a lot of people. When you put some money on the table, oh, there'll be anything for you. Anything. And this is what he possessed, the power he possessed. Go ahead. By thy great wisdom and by thy traffic has thou increased thy riches. Mm -hmm. And thine heart is lifted up because of thy riches. How many of us feel like that? You got some money in your pocket, your pocket you feel good. But when you broke, you feel bad. Where your heart at? It's on the grave. This is our Satan act right here. Instead of you being thankful that you got up this morning, got your bread. You walking, you got your limbs, you can move them all, you doing good. No, you worry about I ain't got no money in my pocket. Mm. This is what Satan does. Jump down to verse 12, verse 11. Let me show you that this is Satan, not just a regular man. Verse 11. Go ahead. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, uh -huh. Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyre. He said, Pay attention to this king of Tyre. Go ahead. And say unto him, mm -hmm. Thus says the Lord God, Thou sealest up the song, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. So this man, he talking about, he got full of wisdom and he perfect in beauty. Ain't nobody beautiful than Satan. He's That's the most right. beautiful thing that God ever created. Right. So all these little movies y'all see with him being ugly and face all messed up, that's a lie. They train you to think this way. This man will come up on most of most of the people just like he came up on Eve would deceive you. Because he's beautiful. Mm -hmm. What God said, he said, beauty is what? Vain. Vain. But he knows how people are. Instead of looking at the heart of a person, they're looking at, oh, she fine. She got this, she got that, or he got abs, he got this. This what people try to find a mate with. You messed up in the head if you think this way. You got to find out what's in their head, find out what's in his brain, find out the mindset or her mindset. This is what you got to do. And this is what Satan uses to deceive us. I said us. Go ahead. Verse 13. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Wait a minute now. He said, Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. That's right. In the Eden, they were the tree of life, the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And Adam and Eve. <laughs> He's been there. So we know that that tree of knowledge, good, and evil is Satan. It ain't no little tree that the most of the people put on uh, movies and stuff like that. That was Satan. He said he been in the mountain. He said he been in Eden, the garden of God. Go ahead. Every precious stone was thy cover. Mm -hmm. The solids, the topaz. And the diamond, the barrel, yes, sir. the onyx, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, and the carbuncle, mm -hmm. and gold, the workmanship of thy tablet and of thy pipes were prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. Satan is clean. 
He got all the jewelry, got everything on him, possessed every precious stone. And most of all, he said he can sing. He got in his pipes. He said, right here is in his tavern of thou pipes will prepare in thee in the day that I was created. He was so worshipful. Beautiful. He, he worshiped God. He was the somewhat the choir director, if you want to say that. Nothing beautiful than say. And that's why he controlled the music of the world. Because that's his MO. He got it. Go ahead. Verse 14. Thou the anointed chair that covered, and I have set thee so. Thou was upon the holy mountain of God. Wait a minute. He was on the holy mountain of God? So this ain't no regular man here. He was in heaven, bro. He was in heaven at one time. That's why I took you to Revelation chapter 12 and show you how I might have thrown him out. This ain't no regular man. But he transformed himself into the prince of Tyrus. So you got to be careful who you're dealing with. You could be dealing with him. So he said, I'm walking to and fro on the earth. Right. Seeking who I made the vow. Come on. Go ahead. Thou hast walked up and down in the midst of the stones of fire. Mm. Thou was perfect in thy ways. Thou was perfect in thy ways from the day that thou was created till iniquity was found in thee. He was perfect until iniquity or till sin was found in him. This cat tried to dethrone God the Father. Yes, he did. Like a, Jesus told him, like, throw that joke out. Get him out of here. And he took a third of an angel. You realize how many angels that is? That's like innumerable. It, it ain't no count of them. He deceived them people, those angels off on the God. And we trying to deal with him with our mindset? I'm leading myself? You better get in this book and get some knowledge. Go ahead. Verse 16. Mm -hmm. By the multitude of thy merchandise, they have filled the midst of thee with light. What are we in now? He's about to multitude of what? Now merchandise. That's why people are killing people over money. Killing people over car. Killing people over clothes. All this stuff, the merchandise I have filled it in the midst with violence. Mm. That's why you got to have about 20 different locks on your door called ADT and all like that. This is what it is. Go ahead. And thou hast seen. Therefore I will cast thee as profane out of the mountain of God. And I will destroy thee, O cover and shepherd, from the midst of the stones of fire. You know what that stone of fire? That's the lake of fire. He's going to destroy me. got his time. Go ahead. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Thy mind is lifted up when you talk about heart because of your beauty. So many of us are so focused on what we look, our hair look, our clothes look, everything. This depends on how well you feel. If you focus on that, you are rolling with Satan. He got you. Go ahead. Thou hast corrupted thy wish. Read that over 17. Thine heart was lifted up because of thy beauty. Mm -hmm. Thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness. Mm -hmm. I will cast thee to the ground. I will lay thee before kings that they may behold thee. This is what's going to happen to say. What do you think will happen to the followers? Most of us got to worry about what we look. How beautiful we are. Instead of looking in your mind and seeing how beautiful you are through your mind and the words that you know about God. We spend too much time on that. Y'all heard me say we, because I'm not excluded. We got to focus on the word of God. All right, now y'all got the cell phone. Be on with the Bible now. Let's go to Romans chapter 1, verse 16. You feel with that one? Okay, go 19. Verse 18. Go ahead. Sorry. Thou, thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries mm -hmm. by the multitude of thy iniquity. What do you mean by thou hast defiled thy sanctuaries? The churches. Amen. By the multitude of thine iniquity, which is all this sin they do. Easter, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Cast anniversary, Choir anniversary. Where do you see all this stuff at in the Bible? That's right, nowhere. Nowhere. Go ahead. By the iniquity of thy traffic, therefore will I bring forth a 
fire from the midst of thee. Yes, sir. It shall divide thee. Mm -hmm. And I will bring thee to ashes upon the earth in the sight of all them that behold thee. He gonna see what he gonna do to Satan and his churches. He said, "Oh, he's the mother. He got the mother church, which is the Roman Catholic Church, and she got some of the churches. Mm -hmm. And all of them got the same mo. They there on the Sunday." Verse 19, go ahead. All they that know thee among the people shall be astonished at thee. Thou shalt be of terror, and never shall thou be any more. They're going to be looking at Satan when God put him in the lake of fire like, this is the dude that did all this? That's right. Amen. Astonish me like they can't believe it. That's right. Who brought the world to their knees? This is the guy. Mm. Let's go to Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1, verse 16. We'll turn to your table of contents. It might help you out a little bit. <coughs> to deal with Satan, we have to stop being ashamed of the word. Stop being ashamed. I can tell a lot of people shame because when it's time for them to give the wisdom of God, they always go with the wisdom of the word. You, you, if you're ashamed, they say, but God told me I can't eat that. That's why I can't eat that. God told me to be here on the Saturday, not Sunday. If you're ashamed of that, he's ashamed of you. The power ain't gonna be in you. You can't speak both. A lot of people try to, a lot of people confuse us who know the world, who have faith in God, that we speak bold about it. They think that we are being arrogant. You think you much, you think you better than us. No, I'm speaking because I'm speaking with confidence. I believe this. I put my family life on the line for this. Period. And they'll do the same thing too. This is how much I believe in it. I ain't going to hell for nobody. And I don't expect you to go to hell for me, period. I'm not ashamed of this. And this is how we got to look at it. But most of us, we so cling to people. The wisdom of the world. No, I can't leave him. I can't leave my husband. I can't leave my wife. I can't leave my kids. Leave them. Leave them. If they take you from the word of God, Leave them alone. Mm. That's serious now. It's not nobody 100 with that. That's a 100 percent thing. You got to work with that. If they really love you and they really want to be with you, they'll find the Lord. But most of us find people who are going to take up from the Lord. Mm -hmm. Stupid. If you find this precious word of God and you let a joke on the street or a girl on the street take you from this, you deserve to go to hell. I deserve to go to hell. Can't nobody take me from this. It's got to be within me. Come on. Verse 16. Go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, bro. 16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. Yes, sir. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. You hear the first thing he said? I'm not ashamed. Why? Because that links the power to God when you're not ashamed. Y'all see me actually, I'll stop cutting hair and tell somebody about the word of God. I don't care. I don't care if I got so many people here. Hey, you want? Okay, let me get the scripture right here. I'm going to tell it. But so many of us are ashamed, but we scared to say something. We whisper. Yeah. Yeah, forget that. And everybody ain't on my level. I might not be on your level. I'm just telling you how my experience is. I'm not ashamed. Go ahead. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. Mm -hmm. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. If you just, you got to live by this faith now. But how can you live by faith when you don't know now? You got faith in what? You need to study God. I hear people all the time say, I'm saved. That's how you say it. Oh, I confess in Jesus Christ to my Lord and say I'm saved. Who told you that? That's not it. That's when y'all take the pass over. What, what's that? Communion? But they can tell you when some is. What day y'all going to church on? What, when y'all feast of eleven bread, day of atonement, all those things that God told us to remember. They can't tell you none of that. But they tell you when Thanksgiving, Easter, and Christmas is. This is what they do. Ain't no power in that. Ain't no faith in that when you're telling people about these pagan holidays. That's right. 
No faith, no power, no equity. Go ahead. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness yes, sir. and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. See, the wrath of God is revealed. When I see all these school shoes, folks oh, get scared. Like, Man, we should do something. Y'all can't do nothing about this. Nothing. God is doing this. He took the wrath out of the priesthood. The priest, the little priest, used to kill everybody that was committing sin. God said, "It's my time. I'm killing. Them. I'm killing." Them. And people don't understand that about God. He said, "Can evil come about?" That's I know it. That's right. Read Isaiah chapter forty-five, verse seven. Read it. This is what He's telling us about Him. When you don't read the Word of God, you don't understand why these things are happening. Go ahead. Verse 19. Mm -hmm. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. Mm -hmm. For God has shown it unto them. See, God was showing me preachers about the word. They understand. Don't get, I used to think the preachers didn't know. But you talk to so many preachers, they said, man, I can't say that. My whole congregation is split up if I tell them about the, the dietary law. If I tell them about the Sabbath. They know it. But they're trying to keep that money together. They're trying to keep families together. And God said, I come not to say what? Soul. Peace. Mm -hmm. But a sword. That's what he told us. I ain't come to say peace upon the earth, but a sword. Go ahead. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. Yes, sir. Being understood by the things that are made. Mm -hmm. Even his eternal power and Godhead. So that they are without excuse. It is no excuse to know the Godhead. And so many people are so confused by the Godhead. They're always saying, that, oh, it's just one God. Jesus got off the throne and came down here. I mean, God got off the throne. God the Father got off the throne, came down here and got in the flesh of, of a man. Man, where do you read that at? It's two in the Godhead. He said, let us create man in our image. Two. But what they tell us, the Trinity, it's three in the Godhead, God the Holy Ghost. Where you read that at? Revelation chapter 1 said God gave it to Jesus and Jesus gave it to his angel. They were two in the Godhead. But they know this. But they don't want to believe it. But because they have rejected the word of God, God said, I'm going to put a special thing in your family. And you see it come up a lot. We're going to read that. Go ahead. Of verse 22, 21. 21 mm -hmm. Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God. When they knew the truth, they won't glorify him as God. Go ahead. Neither were thankful, mm -hmm. but because became vain in their imaginations, and their foolish heart was darkened. When they know the truth, they became vain in their foolish imagination. When you go about thinking of when you go about setting up these different things that's supposed to make you feel good. You become foolish when you don't incorporate God's word with it. Listen to what he said here. Go ahead. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. This is what it is, professing yourself to be wise. You become fools. It's foolish. When we sit up here and we telling people, uh, when these pastors tell us where when Jesus died on the cross, he did away, died on the cross, he did away with the law. Foolish. How can you tell what is sin if you don't have no law? Hmm. What is sin? Yeah. Go ahead. And change the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to uncorruptible man. Yes, sir. And to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. And that's saying that you got gods of everything. You got people in you want to eat a cow because he said it's God. <laughs> Home around them, damn, they won't eat the cow. That's clean now. Go ahead. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness. Uh oh. Through the lust of their own heart. Mm -hmm. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Okay, since you don't want to believe me, I'm going to send a strong delusion on you. I'm going to mess you up mentally. Yeah. God said, I'm going to do this. Let's see what he's going to do. Go ahead. Who changed the truth of God into a lie mm -hmm. and worship. And serve the creature more than the creator. Yes, sir. Who is blessed forever. 
They mm -hmm. serve the pastor more than they serve God. They believe what the pastor says instead of believing what he reads in God's word. The creature. They serve the creature with more than the creator. You got some of these old pastors say something to some of these women, they forget what their wives, they hug and say. Don't, don't pastor told me to be down there, I'm coming. 